Welcome everybody to Bad Shalom. Great to have you all here in this wonderful night. And uh, it's very, very, very exciting to have our olive class here. I am so looking forward to having them participate in the service. And they are going to start us off with a singing of the almond tree. The almond tree. So, really loud, everybody. The almond tree is growing, a golden sun is glowing. The birds sing out in joyous fleet from every root and every tree. To his father's ear, happy holidays. To his father's ear, happy holidays. One more song. Let's do. Let's go plant a tree. Let's go plant a tree. It's holiday. Let's go plant a tree and sing a happy song. Today is two, two, two bishvat. Everybody, two, two, two bishvat. Good. Two, two, two bishvat. Let's sing a happy song. Today is two, two, two big spot. Two, two, two big spot. Let's go plant and sing a song. Excellent job, everybody. You guys can go back to your seats for one second. What are we going to do? Uh, so, we are here today to celebrate Tu Bishvat. Who can tell me what Tu Bishvat is? What does this holiday celebrate? Jared. No, you missed out the song. It's the holiday that we celebrate. And what do we celebrate on this holiday? Matthew. It's for the trees, that's right. That's right, Tu B'Shvat is the new year for the trees, and it's the day, according to Jewish tradition, when the trees in Israel come alive and they start to drink again. And how, who knows how, tree, how do trees drink? Can anybody guess how trees drink, Hazel? Through the roots from the soil, exactly right. So they, they start to drink again, and does anybody know what happens when the trees start to drink? Cooper. They get taller. They get taller, that's right. And what else happens to them? Jared. The leaves get greener. The leaves get greener. And, and, and what else happens? Something else happens too. That's very beautiful. The tree blooms. Excellent job. So all of those things happen, which is why we celebrate this wonderful, wonderful holiday. So we're celebrating too much fun, but we're also celebrating another holiday which comes every Friday night. Who can tell me what holiday that is? Shabbat. Shabbat, exactly. So we're celebrating Shabbat today and we're celebrating Tu B'Shvat today. So everybody's got their little little uh, service pamphlets here. And uh, we're going to actually start our service with the singing of L'Chad Odi, welcoming the Shabbat bride into our midst. And everybody's got their shakers so we can either shake along or hopefully sing along as well. So let's go ahead and on page one. Nice and loud, everybody. Shabbat 
Welcome to Shabbat Bride. The Shabbat Bride is in this room with us right now, even if you might not be able to see her. She's here in our midst. So just like we would do at any Seder we, at our temple, we're going to go around from each, to each table and ask each table to do a little reading. So we're going to start off with this table over here to help lead us in the reading on page two. Tu Bishvat is the birthday of the trees. And anything italicized, everybody will read together. Everybody? Today is the birthday for trees. This day is called to be shot. And now we are going to light the candles for Shabbat to bring that special light of Shabbat into our midst. So I'd like to invite all the Olive students to come on up and stand right here with your teacher, Alicia. And you're going to light the Shabbat candles and then we're going to sing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You guys can go back to your seats because during this Seder, we are going to drink 
four cups of wine, just like you would do at a Passover Seder, and each cup of wine represents, or a grape juice represents the, a different season of the year. So I'm going to need everybody to fill your cups. Did you put cups out? <laughs> Uh, everybody's gonna gonna put a little some uh, juice in there. Just the white, only the white juice, only the white juice. White juice only. After you fill your cup with white juice, look at me. Only white juice, no purple. Purple's for later, only white. The purple is for later. All right, so I'd like to invite this table, uh, the Marissa Ben table, and this one right here to, to read the first of the first cup, the renewal of nature. One, two, three. We begin our two Mishpah Seder as we begin all holiday celebrations with the drinking of wine for great juice to thank God for creating the fruit of the wine. We will drink four cups this evening. Each one will be a different color and symbolize the season of the year. Tonight we think of the seasons in Israel where spring is just about to begin. The first cup is entirely white in honor of winter, with nature is sleeping and sometimes covered with snow. We fill our cups and rise to thank God for the beauty of the season, for giving us life, health, and enabling us to reach a special occasion. Okay, so everybody please rise. And we're going to sing the blessing together. Ready to sing this with me? I know the olive class knows this blessing. Ready? The Kiddush. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, Boreinu berbih adah. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, who of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. You can drink your okay. first cup of wine, Lachayim. And now we're going to continue with a special section of our service called the Shema and its blessings. We continue. We're still standing. We say at the very bottom, praise the one to whom praise is due. Praise be the one to whom praise is due now and forever. And the olive class has a very special way of singing the Shema blessing. Oh, oh, this is, oh we're not the Shema yet? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> okay, let's chant the Baruch together. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamavorah Baruch Adonai Hamavorah Le'olam we continue on page four. If you'd like that, that uh, table back there in the corner, do you want to just read the English? It gave God great joy to create the beautiful world. God created the sky and the earth and the oceans and rivers. The ground was ready for trees, flowers, and grass. So God made them next. There were red, red roses and yellow daffodils. God made to all trees and many different kinds of fruit and vegetables. There were juicy grapes, sweet purple plums, oranges, apples, and more. Thank you. And now we'll come up over to this table. Trees can live in a very long time. Some trees live for hundreds or thousands of years. 
The Torah is like a tree that has lived for a very long time. Trees give us shade to sit in and fruit to eat. The Torah helps us live a good life and helps nourish our people. The Torah tells us about the history of our Jewish family and the land of Israel, where our people lived in ancient times and which Jews have rebuilt today. That is why the Torah is called the Tree of Life. And now I'd like to invite all the olive class to come on up and stand right over here. Turn around and face that way because you're going to lead us in the schmock. So we have a special way of singing this. And just for your information, the word kochavim means stars, which I'm sure you will realize when we can hear the tune of the song. And now everyone, so now everyone, please join me in the chanting of the Via Hafta prayer, which is right next to that on page five. Via Hafta, ehi Adonai Eloheka, Bekol Nevaka, who call Nafshaka, who call Mahodeha, Vihayu, Adivari, Ha'ehile, Asher Anohi, Mitzaka, Hayom, Alibabeha, Vishinanta, Divaneha, Vidibarta, Bam, Vishitika, Vaviteha, Ublekteka, Badere, Ushakaka, Ukumeha, Ushakam, the Oho, Ayadeka, Vihayu, the Totapo, Vinhaneka, Ukta, Albizot, Beteka, Ubishareka, Limahantis Kerbu, Bahasi Tehem, Ed Komis Motai, Vitem Kidoshi, Lelohekem, Ani Adonai, Elohekem, Asher Hoseiti Etem, Meheret Mitzrayi, Diyot Lachem, Lelohim, Ani Adonai, Elohekem. We read together in the English. You shall love your eternal God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And all these words which I command you on this day shall be upon your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and you shall speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates, so that you will remember and do all my commandments and be holy to your God. I am your eternal God who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. And now as on Passover today, we ask four questions. Why is this night different from all other nights? And like, will this table tell us the first way? <coughs> all other nights, we eat many kinds of food. Why on this night do we eat fruit and not other foods which deny us all Israel? 
And this table, the next one. And all the nights we take trees for granted. And this night we have our way just for them. And that table back there. On all other nights we enjoy fruit for its taste and texture. And because it helps keep us healthy, why on this night do we divide fruit? On all other nights in this season, we look outside and see bare and lifeless trees. Why on this night do we celebrate the budding of fruit trees? Everybody? Because on this night, our hearts are turned to the land of Israel. We share with them the hope for the future of God's world. Now is the time we cherish things that grow so we can help save nature. Tonight we learn important lessons nature can teach us about ourselves. Tonight is the beginning of spring in Israel and not too far in the future for us. I'll take this table again, the next part. Even after others destroyed the land, even after they exiled our people, we always hoped that we would live in the land of Israel again. We clung to God's promise that the land would be restored. We thank God for the ability to replenish itself and for our ability to replenish our people. Okay, now we're going to continue with the song that the Israelites, Israelites sang when they crossed the Red Sea to freedom from Pharaoh. And we're going to sing Micha Mocha, and if anybody would like to shake along, use your shakers, and if, even if you want to come up here and dance along, you can do that too. cups and put a little bit of purple because now it's getting to be spring and the world is coming to nature is coming to life again and getting a little bit more colorful and we'll sing Vishamru while you're pour, filling your cups please join me in the singing of Vishamru as you're pouring your cup This song Come up and do that also. 
shelter to those in need by standing straight and tall. Reach out a hand and help someone before they take a fall. Now you guys may be seated and we're going to sing Shalom Rav, a song for peace at the bottom of the page. Please join me. Shalom Rav. Israel, 
in every season and moment with your peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, who blesses your people Israel with peace. We're going to pause for a quick moment of silent prayer. Now that I hopefully thought, hope that we were praying for peace in the world, we're going to continue on page 11 with another song for peace, O Say Shalom, and we're going to need everybody's shakers for this, and we can also have our dancers back up for this. So, ready? Okay. <laughs> because at our Seder, just like on Passover, we, we eat some very, very special types of fruit. And on Tu Bishvat, we were called the seven species which God promised the Israelites when they were about to cross into the land of Israel. And I'm going to skip the middle paragraph. The mystical rabbis of Sfat taught that fruit can be symbolic of our nature and our goals. On this holiday, we divide fruit into three categories. Fruit with shells, fruit with pips, and fruit we eat all of, and as we eat each type of fruit, we think about what it can teach us about ourselves. So first we start with a fruit with shells. Can anybody see on, on the middle of your table a type of fruit that might have a shell on it? Can anybody tell me what kind of fruit you might see on your table that has shells on it? Or, or a covering on it, hazel. Oranges, okay. So everybody can take a little piece of orange. A little, just a little bit of orange. Oh, we also have, uh, we also have, you might not be able to tell, but we also have chocolate-covered pomegranates on your table. But, but you get extra points if you give me your chocolate-covered pomegranates, because that's my favorite thing. So if anybody wants to get extra points, give your extra chocolate-covered pomegranates to me. All right, but everybody hold up your fruit, and we're going to read together. We think about the shells we create to separate ourselves from our family, our friends, strangers, and the world around us. What do we need to peel away so the sweetness inside us can be enjoyed by others? As we eat this fruit, we think about a way we present ourselves to the world, which we would like to remove. We consider how delicious we would be without it. All right, everybody going to say the blessing together or sing the blessing together? No, we can try to sing it. Okay. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei Harihi Ha'ez. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the tree. Enjoy your fruit with a shell. Except the chocolate covered the pomegranates. Shell. Don't eat the chocolate. Oh, okay, you can. I heard that you had actually developed a way of 
growing pomegranate trees where the pomegranates will have chocolate shells. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I need to work on. All right, now we're going to go on to the second type of fruit, fruit with pits. Who can tell me a type of fruit with pits that you have on, the, on your table? Cooper. What kind of fruit with pits do you have on your table? Apricot. I heard apricots. Is there anything else we have with fruit? All right, so the, uh, we're going to read together in the middle of page 12. The second type of fruit is considered a higher form than the first. The outer part, which is edible, represents holiness. The pit reminds us of the imperfections within us, which have penetrated the goodness we bring to the world. But the pit is also a seed with the potential to help us grow into something better. As we enjoy the second type of fruit, we focus on all the goodness and sweetness within us. We recognize a bad trait or negative feeling we harbor in our hearts. We consider how we can transform it into an attribute. So let's sing the blessing together for Fruit with Pits. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei We can enjoy your Fruit with Pits, the apricots and everything else we have that's got a pit. Mindy, are there also dates on the table? All right, so, so you can also enjoy the dates in the middle of the table because they have pits too. Because I like you. <laughs> that kind of date is <laughs> Do you want a date too? <laughs> Not <tonight. laughs> all right, and now the third type of fruit is a type we can eat all of. Who can tell me what kind of fruit you have on your table that you can eat all of? Alexis. Grapes. Grapes, good job. Anything else is another type of fruit I see. Any, what is it? Raisins, great. This highest form of fruit reminds us of Torah, which can be devoured completely. It teaches us that we have the potential to be fully sweet, good, tasteful, and a treat to be with. We can be that right now. Picture your ideal self and be that as you eat this fruit. Ready to another blessing? Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei Berei ha'ez. You can enjoy the fruit you can eat all of, and now you can eat all the fruit on your table. Except for the chocolate covered pomegranate. <laughs>
And now that we've enjoyed all the fruit, we're going to continue to, we need to wash it down with our third cup of wine. So we're going to put some half white and half red wine in our cups for the third season of fall. Summer, I'm sorry, we skipped summer. The third, the third season is summer, so let's put... bottom of page 12. Red wine reminds us of the summer when the sun shines brightest and we feel the full warmth of its potential. Fruit ripens, strawberries, oranges, melons, apricots, and nuts are picked. The air is fragrant with their smells. Flower petals cover the ground like a blanket. Everybody rise if you are able. So the third cup of wine, the third kiddush. Ready to sing the blessing? Page, now we're on the page third, 13. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Boreh v'rihagaven, Amen. L'chaim. Enjoy your third cup, and then everybody may be seated. Because we now have a very, very special presentation from our olive class. Now that you're full of juice and fruit, we'll see what that does with your presentation. It'll be a little scientific experiment. So Ben Einstein, do you want to come up and just say a few words of introduction? You're introducing Alicia, who will introduce the program. Hello everybody, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much for coming to our rescheduled um, Olive class to Bishvat Seder. Thank you all for your flexibility. It's been such a treat for me as director of the religious school at Temple Shalom MF to see all the learning that our wonderful teacher, Alicia, has done with our Olive students. We give them all a round of applause so far. <laughs> Tu Bishvat celebrates uh, the New Year of the Trees, as Rabbi Abramson said, and it's also the day where the new seeds and the new promise of spring really starts to come through, and we really see that with our youngest students, which has been a treat to see. I'm now going to hand it over to Alicia, who's going to introduce the Olive class presentation. Thank you. Um, if I could have the olive class come on up, we're gonna line up in our order of our poem. So Sammy, and we're gonna see. So Coop, Sammy, you go right here, right next to Cooper. Who's number three? I'm number seven. You're seven, so you go right here. Matthew, you're right four. Marshall, you're five. I'm six. You're six. Let's make some room for Genevieve. So our class worked really hard well, to. I can't oh, you can our, everybody take like three big steps. Right, back. Step back towards me, but stay in your order. Can you squeeze? Uh, I can barely see uh, myself. Genevieve, uh, can, 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 can you squeeze? Why don't you go right here? Go right here. Go right here. Go right here. Go right here. And then here. I'm gonna get you guys all on film. <laughs> Matthew, you go right here. Marshall, you're gonna come right next to Matthew. And then we can get Genevieve in. And then awesome. So our class worked very hard to learn all about Tubishva. And although we were sad we had to reschedule, it did give us a little extra prep time. So thank you for that. They made a wonderful poster in class with some information about Tubishva. 
Oh, yeah. And then we all need headbands, like Alice is modeling right here. And together yeah. as a class, we wrote a poem. So nice and loud, okay? Really Go ahead, How do you plant a tree? First, you dig a hole. Then you put seeds in. Then you come with a toy. And then it grows. We love trees because they give us food, shade, and love. Besides all of the commemoration of Tu Bishvat that we're doing, it's also important here that this is a family service led by this wonderful Aleph class, and they have indeed been learning a lot, learning more than I have almost ever seen in a class at this level learn before. In fact, they have learned the alphabet, and I... It's your phone. Do you want to stop it? Whose phone is this? Oh. Guys, back up. Okay, Marshall, back. Marshall, you got to help us here. I want to win. Where are you? Okay. All right. Well, okay. So they graciously offered to teach us all the Hebrew alphabet. And this is really amazing. And um, I think uh, Jennifer is going to be in charge here and help us out here. Okay. Marshall, are you ready? Here we go.
I feel like a tree now, ready to grow in the right direction. <laughs> so we're going to continue with the Elaine who are closing us prayers on page 13. Please rise and body your spirit. return to the reservoir of being, for we lose our hold on life when our time has come, as the leaf falls from the tree when its day is done. The deeds of the righteous enrich the world, as the fallen leaf enriches the soil beneath. The dust returns to the earth, the spirit lives on with God. Like the stars by day, our beloved departed are not seen by mortal eyes, yet they shine on forever. Theirs is eternal peace. Let us be thankful for the companionship that continues in a love stronger than death. Sanctifying the name of God, we do honor to their memory. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at the season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. Recall those whose yard sites or anniversary of whose deaths occur this week. Gina Cruz Rippon, Harry Fass, Alan Fishlin, Marilyn Gilman, Marvin Gordon, Dorothy Kramer, Morris Kramer, Libby Rosenberg, Seymour Schwartz, William Talley, Jacob Wasserman. And at this time, if there are names of others you would like us to keep in our hearts and our minds and prepare to recite the Kaddish prayer, you may say their names out loud or in your hearts as I look around the room. We also remember all of those who lost their lives in the horrible earthquakes in Turkey and Syria, those who've lost their lives in the war in Ukraine, those who've lost their lives from COVID or other horrible diseases. Zikranam Livracha, may their memories be a blessing. We now rise in body or spirit to recite the Kaddish prayer. 
Yikadal Yikadash Meirava, the Alma di Brahi Rute, the Ablit Mahute, the Chaye Hone of Yome Hone, the Chaye the whole Beit Yisrael, the Adala of Yisman Kariv, the Ru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba, the Marach, the Alam, all day Amaya, Yitbarach, Yishtabach, Yitbar, Yitbaram, Yitnase. Vietadar Vietale Vietalal Shme de Kudeshav Rehu Laela Mim Kol Virchata Vashirata Tushvachata Venechamata Damiran Vyama Vimru Amen Yehe Shlama Rada Mim Shmayam Vichayim Olenu Vial Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen O Se Shalom Vimamav Uya Se Shalom Aleinu ve'al Yisrael, v'yiru, amen. May the one who causes peace to reign in the high heavens, let the peace descend on us, on Ukraine, on Israel, on all Israel, and all the world, as we say together, amen. Now, as long as you're standing, we are going to continue with our fourth cup of wine on page 15. So this is all purple, just purple because it's for fall, the fourth season when the when the leaves and the and the, and the uh, flowers are at their peak. <laughs> so only purple grape juice. Fall arrives and we look back over the year and over our world and realize how much we have to be grateful for. We consider our many blessings, our triumphs, our failures, how far we still have left to go. The darkest purple wine reminds us of our blessings and also of our responsibility to be God's partners in the work of creation. Everybody ready to hold up your cups? And now you may all be seated. I'd like to invite up Mindy Stanley for the announcements. And everybody here knows Mindy. She's been one of the teachers for the All class. So, so, so. <laughs> done a great, great job with everybody this year. Wonderful Mindy, class. Back. Everyone, all the kids, you did such a great you. job. Yep. Really good job tonight. Really enjoyed it. I learned a lot about Tubi Shvat, so thank you. Now, we've got some fun things that involve all the kids. One thing, all the families here are going to get very special Purim bags soon. Very lucky. That's coming up in just a couple of weeks, so look forward to that. And families and parents, if you want to order any extra bags, please just let Fran Bloomfield know. And it's Fran not too late. <laughs> so it's not too late to order more Purim bags. And then there's going to be very special services coming up. Next week is going to be a very special Friday night service at 7 o'clock. The gentlemen of the temple, the Brotherhood, are going to be leading the entire service. So hope everyone can be here to support them. And then the following week, in two weeks, are all the special Purim fun things to do. We're going to have a special Friday night service with Hamantaschen. And there's going to be a special spiel that the rabbi will tell you about. And then on su that Sunday, March 5th, when you're at Hebrew school, not only will you get to have fun at Hebrew school, but you'll also have a carnival with lots of games. And you'll get to make your own hamantaschen and sing songs with Panther Ben. So a lot of fun things. So that's just in a couple of weeks. So have a great time and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Mindy. And I really wanted to thank Alicia for being an incredible teacher. Get, let's give Alicia a big round of applause. And Mindy for helping her out on, on occasion. And then I'm Seidler for being a wonderful religious school director. Let's give him a big round of applause also. I also wanted to thank Mindy and the Religious and Ritual Committee. I think it was mostly Mindy who, who put together this entire Tubishvat Seder for all of us. So let's give the Religious and Ritual Committee, Mindy, and Alan Finkelman, I think, made one of the halas. And I think one of them was from the class that we're going to enjoy pretty soon. Uh, thank you all for being here. And I wanted to give 
the parents and the grandparents a big round of applause for bringing your kids into our school and helping to give them a wonderful Jewish education. So thanks to all of you and of course to them. And I just wanted to say that um, the, uh, when a forum is in two weeks, and, and uh, every year we have a very special theme, and this year already I understand the cat is out of the bag, <laughs> because this year's theme is pets. <laughs> Who here has a pet at home? Raise your hand. Who here has a stuffed animal at home? <laughs> Okay, so this forum in two weeks when you come to religious school, everybody needs to dress up like your pet. So if you've got a dog or a cat or a stuffed animal, we want you to come dressed like your stuffed animal or your pet. If you have a goldfish, good luck. Yeah. I'm working on my costume, so this is for the adults as well, by the way, because we want all the adults to come to our forum spiel also. And if you come that Friday night, we're having a BYOB and, home, and, and homemade home and caution by Ellen. So, so you're supposed to drink enough so that you don't know a cat from a dog. <laughs> okay, so, so hopefully you're going to be... Um, Mordecai said that. Mordecai said that. Yes, yeah, it's right there in the book of Esther in the forum story. So we're going to say the blessing over the the over the, the mozi. Okay. Or maybe we should do. We have a song. Or, or just do the song. Okay. Okay. We have the olive class coming back up for one more. Olive song. class, last song. Come on up for the grand finale. Bring your shovels and your watering cans. Oh, we need shovels and watering cans. Cooper, back up. Hey, you guys come back to where Everybody has gone. Back to where I am. Yep, I'm all the way back here. And this song is on page 16 of your books, your booklet, so you can help help us sing this, sing along with this one. That's all because it is too much fun. Here we go. Let's dig a hole. Let's dig a hole and plant a tree. Let's water it, oh, let's water it, cause it is too big spot. Look at the sprouts. Look at the sprouts, they're coming up. Let's water them, oh, let's water them, cause it is too big spot. Trees are blowing in the wind. Everybody sway.